Joanne says, hi, Matt. I've been alone for a long time. Sometimes I think my standards are too high. It's lonely. Well, you, you want to make sure that you're being realistic and that you're not focusing on just your standards, but you're also focusing on connection. Because one of the things that you'll find, because this is, this is what happens a lot of times with women is, and men actually for that matter, is they'll, they'll, they'll get their list, right? And they get their list and it's this big list. It's usually like 10 pages long and they're like, okay, this is my list. And they go out there and they're like, okay, this guy doesn't fit in the list and this guy doesn't fit in the list. And they sit there and they do these interview questions with these guys and it's like this boring, horrible thing. And they're like, no man fits my standards. Well, or, or they don't meet that many guys and you know, no, no man's going to fit their standards because they're meeting like one guy every month or something like that. And so what you want to do is you want to focus more on connection. And, and you, what you'll find is that there's certain things that are deal breakers and there's certain things that you're kind of like nice to have, right? Like one of the things that I've found a lot of women will kind of let go of are things that they think are important, but in reality, they're not really that important because what they're looking for is a certain feeling. And that feeling doesn't come from those standards necessarily, right? So let's take a common example that I see all the time it is the one where women want a really tall guy, right? And I don't think there's anything wrong with that, right? That's human nature. Men like certain types of women. Women like tall dudes, whatever. Well, you know, you have to ask yourself, why do you want a guy that's six foot tall, right? You, I like, I'll talk to these women and they're like, I'm five, four. I want a guy who's six foot tall. And you're like, okay. And then they meet some guy who's five foot six and they fall in love with them. Next thing you know, they're married. Or sometimes women will even end up getting married to some guy who's shorter than them because what they find is that it's not the height that they really care about. It's feeling secure. It's feeling like somebody's there to protect them and who has their back and who's there for them. That's what they really end up caring about. And so you have to figure out like what are the real deal breakers here and what are the things that you think that you want, but you think you want it because it's a certain emotional experience that you're looking for and that emotional experience could, might come from some other source. So there, there's, I was at this Airbnb in Colorado one time and I met this married couple there. They just got married and I, you know, I'm Mr. Dating advice guy. And so I'm like hanging out there asking them about how they met and all that kind of stuff. And, and it was kind of a funny story because this woman was like, she was like, yeah, we met on this dating site. And, and he was like, he's like, yeah, you know, uh, I ended up lying to her on the dating site which is the only reason why we ended up meeting up. And she's like, she's like, it's true. It's true. He said that he was six foot tall and really he was only five foot 11. And he's like, yeah, yeah. I just told her that I was six foot tall because I knew a lot of women don't go for guys that aren't six foot tall. It's like this measurement thing, which is really true. It's, it's a measurement thing that a lot of women, they're like, okay, I was six foot, you know, cause that's their dream guy. And so they ended up meeting up and falling in love and getting married. And she was like, she's like, yeah, it's true. I would have never, ever met up with him if he would have told me that he was five foot 11 because I didn't date guys that were five foot 11. I only dated guys who were six foot tall. And so it's one of those things you got to figure out, like, is this, is this really important to you? Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. Maybe there's an emotional experience that you want and that's really what's really important to you, which is probably the truth of it. And so my suggestion is that you figure out what's really important to you. What do you really want to experience? And focus on the experience that you want to have. And then come to interactions that way. And come to the interactions and the dates from a space of having fun and being playful and connecting and being curious instead of, does this guy meet all of my you know, 150 different standards that I've got on this list in my backpack that I brought with me, right?